Hi guys, today is a really windy day and uh, I, yeah, I better show you. I'm just gonna go over to the beach now and show you. You see what I mean? I just can't film much of this. It's just too windy and too wet. So I've decided we're just gonna film inside today. I've got a video planned, it's gonna be good. I'm excited. Okay, so if you've clicked on this video already, you probably know what this video is already gonna be about. Getting paid by YouTube. So I'm gonna be asking the controversial question, do YouTubers get paid enough? Is it fair on them? Not many channels really wanna talk about this just because it is really controversial and the people talking about it are extremely biased because they're the ones that are getting paid. But I feel like it's a topic that I wanna to touch on at least sometime in my YouTube career, so why not do it when I don't have much of an audience and can't get much of a backlash? This is really gonna come back to bite me in a few years. I'm gonna be telling you how much I get paid on YouTube and how much I've got paid in the past couple years, but that's gonna be at the end of the video, so you're gonna have to wait for that. I think one of the biggest questions that people ask and people debate about and argue about is, is their paycheck YouTubers? That is, are YouTubers paychecks equivalent to how much effort they put in? I mean, the simple answer is no, they just don't. Like if a big YouTuber with 10 million subs makes a sit down video and they're just talking to the camera, it takes 10 minutes to film, roughly 10 minutes to edit, 10 minutes to upload, they can do that in half an hour and they'll make like 10 grand from it. No one should be paid 10 grand for 30 minutes of work, that's crazy. But the thing with YouTube is it's not as linear, I think that's the right word, as a normal job. You don't go to work, put the effort in, get back money for the effort you put in, and it's all equal. It's not like that with YouTube at all. Okay, so to put it simply, a normal, normal job, you go to work and you put the time in, and then you get the money. It really is that simple. Compared to YouTube, you could probably call this method safe. Apparently I don't know how to spell safe. Whereas with YouTube, there's so much more to it. You've got risk because you may not get money for a couple years, you may not get money ever. There's a lot of risk. You're putting so much time and effort in with the potential reward of nothing. There's so much waste of time. You waste so much time. You know, you make all these videos, no one watches it, just nothing happens. So I didn't know whether to put this one down or not, but I'm just gonna put it down anyway because it does affect a lot of people. If you say you've got a YouTube channel and if you say you wanna be a YouTuber, chances are a lot of people are gonna judge you for it. And that's something you're gonna have to deal with if, you've, if you wanna be a YouTuber. YouTube can go either one of two ways. You put the time in, you can either get nothing or everything. My point is, you can put the time in and it can go nowhere and then you can just give up. Or there are people that put the time in and put so much effort in and the rewards they get are just absolutely insane. They just become multi-millionaires. Everyone knows them worldwide. It's just crazy. I guess the point I'm trying to make is with a normal job, there is a far, far, far less amount of risk rather than doing YouTube. And I'm not talking about uploading one YouTube video, I'm talking about dedicating your life in order to be a success on YouTube, putting so much time and, time and effort in, you know, sacrificing time with friends and not making plans because you need to edit and need to make that video. That's what I'm talking about here. I guess the point I'm trying to make is, yeah, making one YouTube video, it's not that hard, but trying to make it into a whole career and sacrificing time with friends and family to edit and film and just, you know, letting it consume your life in order to fulfill your YouTube dream. That's hard. This is getting a bit too deep now, so I'm gonna dial it back a bit. Okay, so to lighten this up a bit, I feel like I have to talk about Mr. Beast. So, Mr. Beast is exactly that, a beast. He has done so much for people. I mean, we're just gonna go through his channel right now. I gave my 40 millionth subscriber 40 cars. Get this random person to a million subscribers. Basically, giving a kid a career. I adopted every dog in the dog shelter. I broke into a house and left 50 grand. Questionable, but you know what I mean. Giving one million pound of food to people in need. Just amazing. I ordered pizza and tipped the pizza guy a house. And of course the one we all know, planting 20 million trees, my biggest project ever. So the reason I'm showing you all this is because I want to show you actually what YouTube can do right and you know, the good that it brings. A lot of these creators, like Mr. Beast, wouldn't be able to make their content without the money they have, and a lot of them give it away anyway. Don't get me wrong, there are some people which are just ridiculous and so annoying, and they'll spend like 10 grand and then just wreck the thing they've just bought, which is just an absolute waste. But there are also some people who do so good with their money and they just, 
they bring such a positive light on everything. I mean, for me, when I look at these YouTubers who have so much money and such a productive life and all that, I can only look at them and just be inspired by them. What is that on my face? Jeez, I'm bad at shaving. Okay guys, it's got to that point. Um, I'm gonna tell you how much I've got paid from YouTube. <laughs> Hopefully this will make some people happy and it won't bring a lot of controversy. Hopefully. Okay, so I'm bringing up the YouTuber app, which apparently I'm addicted to nowadays because I can't stop looking at views. And if we go on to revenue and we put it to lifetime, my channel has made $6,698.18 over about two years, two and a half years. Do you think that's, that's more or less than you were expecting my channel to get? I don't know. For me, I think it's definitely more because some of the videos I've posted have just been just absolutely. Anyway guys, this is something that's been on my mind for quite a while and I just wanted to get your thoughts on it. So if you can leave a comment down below, that'd be great. I'm not comment fishing just for more views. You know, if you want to DM me on Instagram, literally do it. I'll put my Instagram on the screen. I just want to talk about it and, you know, get my head around it. Is what YouTubers get paid worth the amount of, of effort they put in? It's been a bit of a weird video. Anyway. Anyway guys, I am going to get on with my day now and uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, I think I'm going to go for a run. I've been really lazy recently. Just another sunny day.